Hello, my name is Hayden, and today I will be showing you how to rig a gun in Blender. So I'm going to open up my rig that I'm going to be animating with. I'll save it as a alternate file. This will be rig tutorial. And then I'm going to bring in my gun mesh. From there, I'm going to rotate it, transform it, scale it to be the correct size. And I'll do that using the palm and the hand relationship. And after that, I'm going to get a quick posing with the left hand to see if I need to adjust the scale again. Once you're happy with the scale and the posing, we're going to get head down to this little green triangle. And this is all about the vertexes and the vertices. And you see here, vertex groups, there's already a few vertex groups made. For the tutorial, we're going to delete them, hit A to select all the vertices, and create a new group. We're going to call this body and we'll go down to assign and all of the vertices on the model are now going to be assigned to that vertex group. We'll then later make the other vertex groups and unassign it from the body. On the individual parts you can press L and it will kind of select the whole part. And here we're going to make a new one called mag and we'll assign it to that vertex group. Next up, we're going to do the bullets, and this is going to be the main bullet that will go like in or be with the charging handle if you want to show it off. So we'll just hit L on the shell and L on the bullet, make a new group for it, and hit assign. And here I'm just testing out um, by hitting select, making sure it actually worked. We'll move on to the other two bullets in the magazine and call that bullets. And then we're going to keep going down the line, selecting each of the parts that we want to control, isolate them with our selections, create a new vertex group, and assign it. And these vertex groups are just going to be different moving parts of a mesh that you want to control. On weapons, it's pretty consistent. Anything that you want to animate, most likely the magazine, the trigger, the mag release charging handle, the slide, sometimes the bolt is separate from the charging handle. Uh, it all depends on just what you want to animate. Alright, now that we have all of our vertex groups created and assigned, I'm going to go through the list and hit select on all of them except the body. And once we have them selected, we're going to go to the body and hit remove. And to check that it all worked, we're going to select the body and move it around. And as you can see, I forgot part of the magazine. So that's an easy fix. We'll just deselect all of those vertices. And we'll go back to the magazine, hit assign, and go to the body. And remove it. All right, so we now have all the vertices, double checking that the body is only the static parts of the mesh and none of the cool parts that we hear in the anime. So now we can go into the armature and edit mode of the armature and start making some bones for this. It helps to declutter your view for all of this, especially if you are extending part of an armature. And so from here I'm just going to hit A and then H to hide. And then we can unhide all of these things later with Alt H. As you can see here, a new recording is started and that is because my blender crashed and I lost my progress there. So some of my vertex groups are named differently. But anyways, we'll carry on. We're going to create a new bone with Shift A, and we're going to place that bottom sphere at the point in which we want to control the weapon. Here it's going to be a little bit above that handle, and we're going to start duplicating and scaling some of the bones in all of the places that we want to control our vertex groups. I don't bother too much with rotating the bones here. Uh, just for consistency purposes, later in the graph editor it helps with the position and the rotations being somewhat a bit more uniform. 
and I'm going to roughly move the safety's bone in position along with the bullet's position. For just animating this out of Blender, it doesn't have to be super precise. As long as you animate it correctly, you're fine. It's not gameplay. Um, and next up, we're going to be naming all of our bones. And this is where it helps to be really patient and make sure that you name all of these bones the same as their matching vertex group. So here we're going to name the body bone body, as it says in the vertex group there. And I like to expand that, which I did earlier. And here I'm just going to go down the list, find bolts, call that bolt, and our first bullet, bullet, and then next up is bullets. After that is the mag. And next is mag release. And as I'm doing this, I'm just double checking my spelling. If you want to be really critical about it, you can double click the vertex groups, copy and paste it into here. But if you trust your spelling and you're not too tired, it should work out just fine. Here I forgot the trigger. So I'm just going to create a new vertex group, call that trigger, go down over to body, remove it from the body, and make sure it's signed to the trigger vertex group. Go back here to bone, rename it to trigger. Now the moment of truth. Select the gun mesh, then the armature, and control P. It's going to bring up this menu and make sure we hit with empty groups. And if it all worked, we can go into pose mode and select our body bone, hit G and move it around, and voila! Just test everything out, making sure it moves with the corresponding bone. If it starts moving with something else, that means it is most likely sharing some vertices with another vertex group. And here I was moving the trigger and I don't think it was working. So we're just gonna go back because I think I forgot to assign that those vertices to the triggers vertex group and because we did assign with empty groups there's all these uh, armatures vertices in there all right and as you saw before all of these bones move individually and we're going to connect some of them select both of your bullet bones and then select the magazine bone hit Control p and keep offsets if you do connect it, it's going to move it right to the magazine. So remember, you hit keep offset and you won't lose all your hard earned work. Next up, we're going to select the charging handle, the mag release, the trigger and the safety. And last, we're going to select the body and do the same thing. Control P and keep offsets. As you notice, I'm not going to do that with a magazine. I'm going to do that with a constraint in the bone constraint area instead so we can control uh, its relationship on the fly during an animation so if you want to have so a we'll move with the gun here but we can animate the influence to zero and to where it'll act as if it's in world space so if you want to do like a mag throw or something like that or if you want uh, you can make another child of and have that be with the wrist. So if you're reloading, you can animate the influence to go from zero on the body and then do that with the hand and now the magazine follows the hand if you want. I don't typically do that with my stuff. I typically animate the left hand being constrained to the magazine and then animate the magazine from there. But each animator has a different process for that. But this is mostly a rigging tutorial, so I won't get too far into that here. Personally, I like to keep my constraint systems inside Blender as simple as possible, right hand parented or constrained to the gun, and left hand constrained to the magazine. The magazine will then be animated out and back in to the weapon. And then as you see here, my influence is zero, and if I move it up to one, it moves up. So I have to hit set inverse and it should go back to that position. And we'll just make sure you adjust the influences there, make sure that they're one. 
Um, since you're doing it at the start, it's okay if it gets a little off even after hitting set inverse, just reposition it on your idle pose. And that pretty much sums it up. Uh, just a side note, you can create your gun's armature separate from your hand's armature and you can animate both of those at the same time. But you might run into some issues with the action editor and each armature having their own action. Uh, so I like to work with the unified rig that includes the hand armature as well as like a weapon um, system set up within that same armature. And so you can easily use the action editor and eventually use the NLA editor if that's your jam. That pretty much sums up this tutorial. Happy animating, happy rigging, and take it easy.